Welcome everybody back to the channel. Today I got a, another treat for you all. Um, it's going to be another treat that I'm, I'm going to do in the garage. Um, but it has a lot to do with my electronics. Um, you know, since I had my Pelican Bass Raider, um, I've kind of had like my fish finder, you know, somewhat in the same um, position on the boat. And, um, you know, that's... You know, me sitting at the front is always on this side right here. So today, I'm going to change things up. Um, I've been thinking about this for a long time and trying to figure out, you know, I was like, man, you know, I like to try another position some, somewhere different to put my um, my garment. And um, I think I came up with a good one. Um, I kind of looked at it. And uh, I'm just going to take y'all right along with me as I do it, as I change up some things on my boat and um uh, after i change it up i i guess i find out through fishing if it works good for me you know if it don't hey i just put it back the way it is uh so i'm gonna bring y'all right along with me first off my boat is a mess so let me get to cleaning this off and um i get back with y'all got everything removed from my boat uh a little tackle i removed both of my seats and like i said today's video is going to be about me relocating this garmin fish finder to a different spot on my boat um to try it out to see how it you know how it pans out if it's going to be a good idea or a bad idea normally right here with my trolling motor at i always when i'm out fishing i always have my anchor and i try to pull it up as far as up towards the front of the boat so with my idea today, I want to remove this anchor right here and, and just get it out of the way. Yeah, so let me just throw that down right there. This area of the boat is the area that we're going to work in today. I, I kind of thought this up in my head uh, just to, you know, and I wanted to kind of put it in motion to see if it would work. The item that we're gonna use today, I went on Amazon and I ordered a, a, a one inch ball ram mount. If I tear it open. I tried to find one that had the circle on it, but couldn't find one and I found this one right here. I'm gonna get a little bit of assistance from someone here at the house to help me pick this. You know, just do this stuff to make sure it's done right. Um, so I get back with you. We're gonna have the uh my, my little sub floor, we're gonna have that removed. Oh, so I left off this part right here. I need to remove this. Put it to the side, don't need it right now. Now that I got the my sub floor up, um, this is my little cushion area right here. Only thing I gotta do is remove this one area at the very front. So I'm just gonna kind of like you know they like a puzzle just kind of like put them to the side of them. i got them kind of taped down a little bit but i'm gonna do it this way we're gonna clear this little area right here because this is where we're gonna do all the business at right here we're gonna we're gonna clear this area right here okay so the first thing i want to do is i want to get my one inch ball i want to get my one inch ball and I want to put it dead center of this piece right here. I want to mark my holes. Let me get a, a, a marker, some kind of pen or something like that to mark it with. I don't have that. First, we're going to do a measurement, make sure we get it dead center. I should have marked it when it was on the boat. My bad. So we're going to mark it dead center. Okay, so basically what I want to do is I want to take this. And I want to find the dead center. I want it to be like right in between this right here. So it's kind of like the, that's, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to leave the trolling motor on for the time being and kind of like match it up best I can. Okay, so basically what we got here is uh, I got my four holes marked. Um, and basically what I'm doing, I'm going to take a drill bit. Um, I think this is a 1164 
Not sure if this is the right size, but um, it don't look like it's too big for what I want to do. But basically, I'm going to do a, I'm gonna drill holes, drill four holes out using those um, markings that I made. I'm going to try to make it straight as possible. Okay, three. All right, so the reason why I drilled these four holes in it, um, even though this is three quarter inch plywood, it's going to be a little bit of pressure put when I tighten down. I'm going to put some bolts through this. And um, this is exactly where my wherever it went to. Um, my little ball mount is going to go. We got everything right here that's going to, that's going to be required to um, fasten this thing down to my floor. Um, I'm going to start off with the screw. Uh, the actual screw is a stainless steel screw. It's an 8 30 seconds. Um, one and one fourth inch. Plywood is three fourths inch. Not sure exactly how thick this is, but it looks pretty good. I'm also going to use some washers um, that's going to be like one and uh, I think they're number eights. Yeah, they're number eights. Um, and then we're going to use um, lock nuts um, to uh, fasten it on. Like I said, it don't have to be super tight on. I just need for it to be tight enough to keep this secure. Um, so, yeah. Let's get to doing that. Um, also, another mistake I made when I went and bought my screws that I was going to use uh, because the ones I had was too short. Um, I made a mistake. And if you can see the head. And if you can see the. Sorry about that. If you can see the head. Um, this one right here is the actual size. But I should have got one that had a head like this one. Um, but. We're going to make it work. Um, so, if it don't work out good, I can just replace them later. Uh, but we're going to set all the screws down into the each hole. This one right here is a little stubborn. Oh, it went through good then. But uh, underneath, underneath, we're going to bring a wash, washer in in front of the uh, actual nut. So... Gonna put these nuts and stuff up under here, and we're gonna kind of like try to start. Let me get them all started first, and then we'll center on down. And see, that's two of them that's hand tight, you know, pretty much just hand tight. And look at, I mean, that thing ain't going nowhere, so it's not a lot of pressure on him. The one thing I was, I feared more than anything was if it gets so close to the end. If I put too much pressure, would it cause a, like a hairline fracture to come all the way out and end up ruining this section of the floor? But I think I'm going to be good um, as far as that. So let's continue to put these washers on. Like I said, that's hand tight. And that bad boy is straight up whistling. So I'm going to get my little tool right here. going to use a little socket to hold the bottom down here. We're just gonna just gonna get it a little cinch it a little tight. And just like that, they're all four in. <laughs> yeah, and um what I'm trying to accomplish is uh I'm trying to keep from having to take my my um depth frying duct as a whole off the boat when I'm going to and from the lake. That's the whole purpose of me doing this. Plus I want a new look. I want to see what it looked like. If it don't work, you know, I can take this out. It won't it won't hurt anything. Or whatever. So uh yeah. So I'm gonna get this thing back in the in inside the boat. Oh getting too far ahead of myself. Okay another thing that it's gonna I'm gonna have to do is also, uh, take these Y ties. Um, I did have some smaller ones, you know, more petite ones to do it. But I'm gonna take these Y ties, and I'm gonna run both cables down this down this pipe right here. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna start with one cable. Um, this being the transducer cable, and. 
guess being the one power and transducer cable. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them down right here. Uh, I'm gonna leave me some excessive room up here at the top. I need to make sure I leave myself plenty of excessive room up here at the top for it. And I'm gonna wire tie these down. I guess there's no harm in having a good bit of wire up this way. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave a pretty good bit up through this way. I think I'm gonna leave my my power cable out that way. But I'm gonna keep going down. With another wire tie. So let me show you what I'm gonna do in this instance. Um, like I said, my transducer sits on the side of the boat. I'm not gonna move this and keep it where it's at. Um, but what I did, I brought the wire, brought the the cable down a little further, and I'm gonna turn it right up in here. That allows me to have this little excessive amount. You know, I have a pretty good amount of excessive cable right here. Um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna see how it's gonna do. All right, I've already changed up some things. Um, when I wire tied my cables, and, uh, power cord and everything to the little small PVC pipe that I had, I kept worrying about pinching points was it too high would over time it mess my wiring up so i decided to remove it as you can see i got a couple of areas that i pretty much cleaned out and um i'm gonna take this uh flex flex tape as seen on tv don't know how good it is but um uh, i'm gonna take this tape i'm gonna tape down my uh, power cords and stuff like that and get it set up. And I'm gonna repeat this step all the way down until every point that I wanna tape up is met. sticky I don't know how long it's gonna stick but it feels real sticky right now this tape's supposed to be waterproof so we about to find out how good it is I'm gonna put that bad boy to test but I, I like the fact that it's got this film over it that allows you to cut your little, you know cut your tape long ways or across and kind of like determine how how wide you want it to be if anybody them use this flex tape, you know, leave leave a comment. Let me know how it works for you. How, how has it been a good product to use or not so good? Cause I honestly don't know. I've never tried it. This is my first time. Again, everything is going between the ribs, so. It shouldn't be any kind of problem with the wire being, having any kind of pressure or friction on it. Uh, shouldn't be any of that going on. But we'll see. Here's the reveal of what I got going on here. So this is the new setup right here, what I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to move my GoPro from the right side of the boat, more like in the middle of the boat. Um, I actually got up in the boat, with, you know, up in the seat and sat down. Um, I've been thinking about maybe buying a longer ram mount extension thing. I like the look because at no point, no matter which way I'm turned, you know, to the left or to the right, I'm looking over my shoulder. Um, yeah, of course, if you turn around looking completely at the back of the boat, 
you know you run into problems but I, I like the look I like the look I have to fish and I have to take it out fishing to really see if it's you know efficient or whatever but um yeah everything that I used in the um in this video I'm gonna leave a link um as much stuff as I can on the bottom um it was simple just something I've been trying to do for a while just change up something just see how it will work if it don't work I put it back the way it was like I said underneath I ran all of my I ran all of my power cables underneath the the uh, base of the uh, the boat um, <clears throat> over here I got my power cord coming out from one of the ribs you know the power cord comes out from one of the ribs and plugs into the battery and you come back here I got my transducer right here on the side like I always have it but I have it also running underneath the rib of the boat and um you know just coming out kind of put the accessory right here and that's the way I got it so I'm, I'm liking the look here on the yard but you know what I'm saying I gotta put the test on the water um the other thing that I had to check before I really approved of even trying this was you know at the end of each fish trip I I drive my big motor back to the to the boat ramp I take this trolling motor and I lift it all the way up I'm not one of the ones that drive uh, from point A to point B with the trolling motor in the front this this trolling motor is strictly for me to fish my spots you know when I get to the spot that I'm fishing this is that's what I use it for but when I'm trying to get from point A to B to C you know what I'm saying I go back and I turn on my big motor I get there or whatever but the other thing I wanted to make sure was whenever I raise up my trolling motor which I got my trolling motor down now um, I wanted to know if it this this bracket right here holding my um, fish finder would get low enough to where it wouldn't I wouldn't have to worry about it crashing into each other and I did the I did the research on it um, it looks good uh, this depth finder has a snap piece on it I can take the face of the uh, the fish finder off during transportation to and from the lake um, but with that being said hey I just wanted to show y'all that put in the comment what y'all think of that you know what I'm saying yeah it might not be 100% perfect but I like the idea of it maybe I need to you know tweak a couple things or whatever here and there but I'm gonna give it a true test and see how it does um, but I appreciate each and every last one of y'all who has stuck through this whole video I appreciate y'all hitting that like button subscribing to my channel also leaving a comment just let me know how you feel about this you know what I'm saying? I, I fish a lot in this boat. I've been on vacation a little bit lately. I ain't been fishing that much. But uh, I'm about to get back at it, you know. Plan to go in the morning. With that being said, hey, I'm going to get back with y'all on the next one.